This time I started in Volcano Manor to speak with Tenef and join them. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise, I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor and resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. Just like that, I found the Alos. Ah. Oh, I... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. Bernal. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. And Raya. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor. I grabbed the first ladder and got rid of the target. After reporting to Tenov, did your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true. Raya told me that she heard something in the walls. Any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? And afterwards I grabbed the next letter and after reloading I witnessed oh, Raya's true form. Thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, brave tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Also, Petrus arrived. Hello. This is for you. I finished drag off for Petrus and convinced him to give me my reward. While looking for the next target, I found Yuria. And for Eleonora. Before killing Riley and continuing on to find the Shaded Castle, I collected the prosthesis for Millicent and slaughtered Elmer. Elmer. I'm really bad at these names. Right after that, I gave Millicent a prosthesis. This arm. Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. And reported to Tenef. You've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. After that, I found Dialos regretting his decision to join the recusants. Would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? And the reason that Raya heard something in the walls. After a short exploration, I told Raya what I found. So there was a secret after all. Oh my, Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. And asked Tanith about it. To you, I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. 
All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. I continued exploring and found a church with a Godskin noble inside. He guarded this serpent's emblem that I showed Raya. What is this? I remember this scent distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. Even though Tenef wasn't happy about it. Anywhere. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? For now, I wanted to continue on the Elders Plateau, where I met with Corhin again. Look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the Round Table Hold. Shortly I after that, I found the gold mask he was looking for, but I carried on without telling him. In Dominula, I summoned Millicent to help me fight the Godskin Apostle there. I went into the capital and helped Banal with his targets. I followed him back to the Volcano Manor and later told Gorhin the whereabouts of the gold mask. From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. With that done, I climbed the roots of the earth tree and found Godfrey. After his defeat, I visited Cohen, who now was the scribe of the gold mask. Later on, I found them in the capital as well. And together with their help, what matters this issue of Radigan really? And a respec, discovered a little secret. told them about it and respect to my old stats to then enter the fog gate in front of the earth tree
with Margaret's death. May claim the title of Elden Lord. Thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <laughs> I discovered that I couldn't enter the earth tree yet. And when I sat down at the craze, Melana came back with a solution. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then, I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Before I followed her solution, I went back to Kenneth and caused that Nefeli would now be the Lord of Limgrave. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became the warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Should you become the Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. With that out the way, I made my way to the Forbidden Lands. With a short break, going off tracks and fighting two fell twins guarding Margaret's tower, where I reactivated his great room, I continued further north. And there I found Uriel, now known as Shabriri. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. The next person I met was Millicent, and she was also looking for the Halic tree. The fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halic tree. After a quick fight against the last target, I freed the spirit jellyfish right before finding Cohen and the gold mask again. From there, I passed over a frozen sea and killed Borealis, before returning to Volcano Manor and facing the last mission. Our Lord, our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions.
very long. After Rikard's death, I helped Petrus with Tenov by giving her the dancer's castanets. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. And I guess Petrus didn't take Tenov's decision so well, and he returned to his old ways. After beating him again, I went to the Divine Tower in Best Altars and reactivated Rikard's Great Room. And that's it for this video. I want to apologize for being gone so long and not uploading. I hope you still like this video and please make sure to comment which ending would fit best for Guts. I will try to complete this project before Shadow of the Earth so stay tuned for some uploads the next few days. I hope to see you in the next one. The tarnished.